every time. Love my coffee, especially in the morning. Today is Friday, and that means it's weigh-in day. I'll get right to it. The scale said 141 this morning. Am I surprised? No, I'm not. Absolutely not. Am I disappointed? No, because how could you be disappointed when you knew that something was going to happen? At least for me, anyway. There's no point in wasting my time on that. I have no time to be disappointed. I had my little... I started at 140 last Friday, if I remember correctly. I had a birthday, not a bash, but I did definitely have things that are not Slimming World or any other healthy eating plan. So time to move forward. So instead of wasting time going on and on about how, oh my goodness, I had a gain and blah, 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 blah. I'm just going to get to the point of how do I deal with this now? What do I need to do to move forward? to get back down close to my goal. Now, I've mentioned before, last July, if you saw it in, I think, last week's weigh-in video, I put up pictures of my before and after. My after, with the before and after put together in the collage, was last July. I was 130 pounds, one pound away from goal. I've been struggling, not so much struggling for the six months after that, because I did well. I was happy with 133.8 because I was fitting in my clothes comfortably and I was feeling that the daily food that I was having was meeting my needs. So it was like a package thing for me where I said, I'm comfortable with this weight. If I never go down to 129 again, I will be happy to do that. But if I don't, it's not anything to be upset about. I was, I am in my healthy weight range. Now at Weight Watchers, it's 121 to 143 for me based on my age, height, and whatever they put in there. Um, to calculate it, I think that's kind of crazy. I mean, I have very very small bone structure, so to me, um, being in the 129 range would be a healthy place for me to be without me looking too thin. I have been 121 when I was 55, and I felt like if you blew on me, I was going to fall over. I don't know how I was ever 108 pounds in my life. I was actually 103 um, at one point, because I, I literally felt like I was paper thin <laughs> at 121. Don't need to be at 121. If I'm at 133.8, I'm good. So now what do I need to do to get back there? I need to get my act together. Okay. I'm going to be like, I am so seriously, um, get, you know, a matter of fact, type person or I have that attitude about this for myself because I don't I don't play games with myself you know I think it's important to do a little bit of a reality check with yourself at least for me anyway and my reality check is look if I put it in my mouth I'm the one that did it I'm the one that made the poor decision to put something in my mouth that I don't think is a healthy thing for me to be eating because it will make me gain weight and other things too that are not good for me in my body so when I do things like that I take responsibility period I don't waste my time feeling sorry for myself because that just not doesn't work for me it only does more damage I think because when you go down the road of feeling guilty and feeling bad and feeling blah 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 is a setup for me to do even more poor eating which is only gonna put more pounds on me that are gonna be like really really hard to get off I guarantee you it's going to take, I would be shocked. Now I know when I did the Slimming World two or three weeks ago, the first week I lost 1.8 pounds. That is like tremendous big loss for me. Um, I'm a more like a 0.2 off this week, maintain next week, 0.2 or 0.4 off the following week kind of person at this point in my life. I'm 63. You know, even if I do my steps, which I religiously try to do, um, and then also I have to consider eating healthy. You know, eating healthy also means eating the right quantity of food, the right amount of calories, even though I'm not calorie counting at this moment in time. You still need to have the right amount of good food in your body every day to fuel your body and to also keep up your immune system. Like starvation diet for me, even if I could do it, and believe me, I've done it many years in my life, in my younger life, is not a healthy thing for, you, for your immune system, for your gut health. 
So all things considered, it is time to move forward. Now, this weekend, starting with today, I'm going to be busy. So I have to do a little bit more planning and I have already done that as of yesterday. I made some white rice. I have some, I, I want to find a recipe for a fresh black bean rice type salad thing. So I looked online. I have an idea of what I want to put together for that, but that's something that I want to make. And then I also probably will have some ham with that and my salad for lunch. That's my plan for today. I'm going to try to do some shorts over the weekend because I don't have time to do a full blown what I eat in a day. So if I make that, you'll see it. I'll video it. But again, doing this living world plan is the answer to my prayers, but it's only going to work for me if I do it. And I'm the only one that can make that happen, right? So going forward for this week, I'm going to put my best um, attitude ahead and I'm going to do my best to eat enough during the day to where I'm not going to be having my little night fests because my night fests come out of boredom, out of stress, and I need to find other ways to deal with boredom and stress at night. I need to do something positive. I'm thinking about maybe reading a book. I'm thinking about trying to do some crocheting at night. Even though it becomes painful for my shoulder, I may be able to do a little bit of that. And I also need to find some new YouTube, uh, some new shows to watch because all of my shows I've already binge watched. And I definitely know I'm a happy person when I'm watching my British television or my foreign television. So again, it sounds silly, right? But for me, it's important. It keeps me from eating because otherwise I get in the YouTube, um, mode and I start watching things on YouTube that are not necessarily positive crime, you know, shows. Um, I've been watching a lot of Christopher Watts. He, um, murdered his family a few years ago and that's definitely taking an emotional toll on me. So I need to get away from that. So I don't know if any of this resonates with you and some of the things I'm talking about you find to have difficulty with in your life, but just don't give up. Because when we give up, it's the end. And as long as we're not giving up, we have more of a chance of succeeding and getting healthy and doing the good things for ourselves. Because these are things that come out of habit. Sometimes bad habits are hard to break. So for me anyway, I like to replace a bad habit with a good habit. You know, right now I'm paired with, okay, I watch this TV and I eat at night. I need to break that by finding, I could tell myself, okay, I'm not going to eat at night. I'm just going to watch TV. That's really not working very well for me. So instead I'm going to try to pair watching TV with something positive. That's going to come in between the nighttime eating. Does that make any sense? I hope. So I need to work on that part, the positive thing to stick in between and hopefully I'll get away from that and I won't think about it because for many years I did not do any nighttime eating. This all started when, after I had that um, long haul virus for a year, I had the long haul. The symptoms were fairly benign, but they were there and it got me into bad habits again. So no excuse to be made, okay? That's been back a couple years already. It's time to stop thinking about those things and start to think about what can I do that's positive for me? So if you're having struggles with this, Think, try to think about it that way, you know, add positivity into you, into your day. Try to find ways, instead of focusing on the, getting rid of the negative stuff, focus more on trying to put some positive stuff in there to kind of like override the negative eventually. That is why I really enjoy reading Dr. Michael Greger, Dr. Kristen Funk, Dr. William Lee, because they don't tell you they tell you basically all the things that are not good for you to eat from a health perspective, but they don't dwell on that. What they do, their message is, instead of trying to focus on getting rid of those things, which is a good idea to do, incorporate in these things that are healthy for you. And they give you the reasons why those things are healthy for you. And eventually it will, those things, if you keep on eating them, there's only so much room in a day of eating, right? 
you're not going to have those as much of those other things that are not healthy. Now, does that mean I should be having potato chips? No, that does not mean that. But there are other foods that I definitely um, could be scratching off my list that are not the healthiest without having potato chips. So that is what I'm striving to do through Slimming World. And the beauty of Slimming World is that it does really teach you how to eat healthy within a plan that is not, it's not about the plan, it's about the person. That's my own feeling on that. I have not met another plan like this that gives you parameters to eat within. It gives you a lot of leeway, but also it gives you the information that you need to make your own decisions about things, your own adult decisions. Yes, you can eat unlimited of this, but are you going to eat three pounds of macaroni and think that you're going to lose weight? That's on you. You know, um, you have to have your common sense with you. But I think it gives that freedom. They do talk about freedom, actually. Um, taste the freedom. It's backwards freedom, I'm sorry. With food optimizing, because that's what we do in Slimming World. Um, there is the freedom to be an adult in this plan. Because any other plan I've done gives, unless it's new system where you pick the food out of the refrigerator or off the shelf, it's made for you, right? This plan gives you just enough that you're following something without it becoming overwhelming. At least it isn't overwhelming to me. And I've done probably more plans than I can remember. And if you'd like to put down a plan in the comments and say, have you done this one? It'll be interesting to me if I say, oh yes, I have, and I forgot about that one. But um, this plan gives you guidelines to work within, and then you have success, provided you, you also use common sense. Let me leave it, to, leave it at that. It's real simple, very, very simple. The simplicity of it is also something that very much attracts me. And um, yeah, so. Anyway, on that note, I'm going to say goodbye to you for now. I'm going to hope for you that you do something, at least one thing, as my friend Wendy always says, do one thing today at least to take good care of yourself because you're important and only you can take care of yourself. Other people can support you and help you. I can support you and try to help you, but ultimately we're out here on our own. We have to make our decisions and then we have to stick with them. Not always easy to do. This is not easy. I'm not going to sit here and tell you it's easy. It's not. Okay. Some days may be easier than others, but overall in the big picture of the journey, not easy. But does that mean that we can't continue to bow forward and win? Absolutely not. Does that mean that in between we don't sometimes stop and take the car off the road for a bit? and find the strength and energy within to get back on that road these things do happen most important is to just get back on that road and if you continue to get back on that road and never give up on yourself you will get to where you need to go the only time you won't get there definitely and for sure is if you just give up and stop and just walk away so please don't do that Please keep on trying. I know it's hard. You can do it. If I can do this at my age, you can do this at whatever age you're at. If you're older than me, more power to you. I still think you can do it because I'm. if I'm living and breathing, I'm going to continue to be doing this when I'm older. It's just the way it's going to be for me because this is how I am. I don't give up. Okay? So, anyway, I'm going to look forward to seeing you next time. I can tell you that I still haven't done my little birthday little video thing that I'm going to put up to show you um, the British afternoon tea that my sister and I had. And um, the other one, the other video I have is what I eat in a day from yesterday, which I'm going to close out today. And then that will probably go up sometime, I hope, over the weekend. And the next video after that, I will try to do some shorts over the weekend. Of what I'm eating, if I can, will be the 
I have to start another food haul video because it's time to go shopping again. And that takes me, <laughs> my shopping takes me sometimes three days, not literally days, but it's done over three days. So that's why it's never within the moment when I put the video up or within the day, I should say. So anyway, I'm going to say goodbye for now and I'm going to see you in the next video. I'm going to send you hugs and I'm going to beg you to do something good for yourself today, please. And that way you can be on the road to getting well. Take care. Thank you.